we, we start off with a sketch and let's firstly let's firstly put in where the sky meets with the water and I'm going to have to make a few things up here and zoom in a little bit there's so much going on people walking around everywhere and just putting in that water line kind of where it meets with the uh, yeah with all the trees and stuff as well okay there's something like that and you can actually see here in the background there's a little jetty that comes out a white sort of jetty and there's uh, bits of a darker section at the back like this okay not a, not a huge not a huge one something like that I also think it might be good to put in something like a like some yachts or whatever in the background. Um, put in something here. Hang on, too big. Um, we'll put in the water first, just a little bit of the, the blue here going across. That. All right, here in the foreground. We have some sand and the boardwalk which is up a bit closer and I want to just separate it out so I've got a bit of the boardwalk showing in the foreground so that we can have a few people of course uh, the figures and what have you lady with the scarf here a bit of a cold day today walking around so just quickly sketch in a bit of a bit of her uh, front of her body like that and the guy next to her like this as well here and uh, you can see him just walking on this boardwalk here so we've got like a, a bit of this foreground detail okay but I'll just darken the legs a little bit to uh, just draw them out better okay another thing I've got to figure out is the light source and it Light source is actually coming from behind me, and so the shadows are just behind the, the, the figures like this. So I'm going to just sketch in a bit of the, just a little bit of the the shadow behind them there. Okay, there. And the thing with this boardwalk, it is look, there, there, there's a lot of detail in here, but I will have to simplify it down. So just some of this perspective these perspective lines like that okay can you see that where it as I'm as it comes closer to me the lines become more straight and on the peripherals it starts to flay out a little bit more like that and that's how you imply a bit of the perspective it's not perfect um, you've also got people that you can draw in just sitting down I mean there's just a person sitting down here there's three people and uh, their bodies are just, I don't know, they're kind of like a rectangular sort of shapes. And so I'm going to put three of these people just sitting here, planted onto the boardwalk. Looks like they're three friends out for a nice day um, on the beach, like that. Put the head in for that figure, and we'll put the head into this one. Oop, a bit too large, doesn't matter. Like that. Um, okay. Oh, maybe put in a bit of the, head, the arm like that. It doesn't matter. I'm not trying to get in too much detail. Just a little bit. Okay. So, of course, we've got the sand area at the back there. And to imply some figures and some and, and another sense of depth, you, you also want to put in some figures here, potentially on the beach. I mean, there's two people just sitting there on the beach with their, with their legs... Um, facing out facing out towards the beach there's a little kid here just in the water okay I mean at this stage this looks pretty good for a general sketch uh, for the closer figures and stuff you can of course put in a few more see there's a put in a person here you know a few smaller ones here in the back as well it's quite a busy day actually and so uh, you get a lot of this overlapping these overlapping figures and people just coming through the scene. I mean, you can even potentially put in a person here. I'm just making this person up. 
He's wearing a cap. Actually, there's this one. There's a guy here wearing a cap. Just put him in like that. And he's walking. Oh, he's disappeared already. You've got to be quick. You've got to be really quick. Leg forwards and the other leg kind of coming backwards. So we've got dude here. He's been in a bit of a hurry. Trying to get maybe hungry. He's getting his lunch or something. Uh, so we got a you know we got a fair bit going on. We got a fair bit going on. Probably the next thing I want to do is add in a touch of the uh, the trees and stuff here in the background. And I mean, I just want to simplify. I don't want to put in too much too much detail. Just a bit of scribble here. And there's like a building there as well. So we get the building in just like this. And it's just a, kind of like a rectangular shape. I mean, I'm not really. I'm not really fussed on the detail of the building, just a bit of the side of it like that. Um, I mean, you can even omit that building if you want. There's no, you know, it's not a huge deal. A little while ago, I also saw a red building, like the roof of a red building there in the background. And you can't really see it here, but I'm going to just make it up. Okay, that can be a building off in the background there. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I'm just making it up. I want to make the scene look a touch more interesting, but I'll scribble in some of these trees and bushes and stuff like that here. I think these are going to be a great help in terms of creating a, a little bit of contrast for the figures as well, so that the heads stick out a little bit. Um, I mean, you've even got this, look at this, there's a large sort of tree there. Uh, I'm just going to draw in a touch of some of the leaves like that. Okay, there's another one even here okay this building it's really it's just so it's tiny not tiny sorry it's like it's not too obvious I don't want to make it too obvious but I want it to look like a building from the side um, okay of course here in the background we have little trees and stuff here I, I don't want to focus too much on that just something here over here I don't know what this is I think this is a lighthouse there on the side I'll have to look it up see what it is actually on Google Maps later but something like that there okay and we pretty much have a decent little sketch to go ahead and get started with um, you know, if you really want, you can also put in, like I was mentioning before, a, like a yacht or something. These little triangles, just put them in in the distance and they will look like yachts. It's a nice day today, so we're going to have people in their boats and out and about. So, uh, you can, I can actually see a few in the distance. Tiny little, tiny little yachts there in the distance that we can just put in. Okay, good. And uh, we'll just get started on the painting. All right. And I'm going to go in with a touch of cerulean, a little bit of cerulean blue for the sky. And I'll just mix this up nicely. Right. And straight into the sky, nice little wash of cerulean. I want this to be really light, so I'm using mostly water in this mix. Okay. Mostly water. And I'm holding the, I'm also holding the the paper up, so that the, uh, yeah, so that it sort of goes downwards. Okay, I actually paint straight to the edges. Why not? Okay, and cutting around the trees and stuff as well. Not a huge deal, but I just want to cut around them a touch. Um, you know, when you're painting outdoors as well, especially with these little sketches, there's really limited materials and things you want to bring along and I don't have a towel or anything I'm just using the, the paint straight from my palette and carrying this along okay so I'm going to move this bead of water downwards all the way to where you see uh, where you see the edge of the water and about around about this point I'm going to cut around these boats yeah Okay, there's a figure here in the foreground, okay, like that. Um, I think what I'll do as well is perhaps put in a little bit of darker colour up the top, 
with darker blue or something up here. Uh, you know, you can also add in, I don't know, a bit of grey to put in a cloud or something like that, just to look, make it look more interesting in some areas, but it's not necessary. Like, while the paper is wet, you can play around and do stuff like that, especially near the top of the paper to make it look a little more interesting. Okay, I'm going to carry this wash down in a moment, but before I do, I thought what might be a, a good thing is just to get in some of the, the warmer colours uh, before I before it all melts into nothing. I'm using a bit of this Naples yellow. I've also got some buff titanium, and I'm using this because I find that it just is less likely to turn into uh, yeah a kind of less likely to turn into a kind of greenish color okay the off-white sort of color but I have mixed in a little bit of a tiny bit of quinacridone yellow as well to increase the vibrancy okay a little bit on the buildings and this red building here in the background as well I, I've forgotten forgotten all about that let me just put in a little bit of red there it's not a big deal but some difference a little difference there okay and we'll go in further down in the water I'm just gonna uh, not the water sorry the the sand here a bit of this buff titanium a light buff titanium I'm using mostly just water 80 to 90 percent water okay cutting around the the, uh, the water down in the front and you know, I'm trying to match the color sort of but it's really just a buff titanium that I'm using just to simplify things down if you can use less colors when you're out here it's better because you're really racing against the clock and you want to get in a, an impression of what you see. So here in the, the background, what I want to do is just add in some water, and it's like a darker cerulean blue. So I'm going to pick up some cerulean blue, okay? A little bit of cerulean blue, and just mix it in with some ultramarine to darken it a touch. And I'll go in and just test that for a bit. It has to be darker than the sky and connect up that bead of water above like this. Of course you can leave some little bits of other color up there as well or just some white, some little white bits, okay? But that's all right, just something like this. And continue on, bring this downwards. I, I want some of it to melt in with the sand. <laughs> so that's why I'm just trying to be quick, but controlling see I'm just trying to control the water as well so that it doesn't move too far down into the sand because I want uh, enough of it I want enough of it just blending in but I don't want the sand to all turn blue so I've turned the page upside down like this to encourage the the water to run upwards a touch okay but you can still see a bit of the sand there a little bit of the sand and I'll do is just get a get a bit more of this yellow drop that in there this is just a bit of that buff titanium okay just to let that bloom a bit over there because I've lost some of the blue and let that carry downwards something like that okay here in the boardwalk it's really it's really just a grayish color it's a warm gray color it's really warm gray color so I can Go ahead and just mix up whatever I've got in the palette. It's really just greys and stuff here. And if you mix up whatever muck that you have left on the palette, you end up with the grey anyhow. Okay. And the grey is a little darker than the uh, yellows and stuff in the background and uh, in the in the sand area. So I'm just gonna get that in like this. Carry that through, okay. That sand has kind of disappeared a little bit there in the background of, uh, but we've still got a bit of that going on. What I will do though is I will pick up 
some more yellow and a little bit of that, yeah, a bit of that Naples yellow. And just see if I can drop in some, a bit more of that Naples yellow or lighter yellow here for the sand because I think it's important to get that beach area in okay even some of it blends and moves down into this boardwalk I don't really care um, I just want there to be a bit more of that yellow in there okay like I said you're kind of racing against the clock at the same time so I've got a bit of blending, a bit of stuff going on, okay, and uh, I'm going to leave this to dry for a bit. The bottom bit will dry, but what I can do while the bottom part's drying is I can start working on some of the details. So I can put in, for example, we can put in a bit of the roof, mop up a bit of this colour at the base. bit of green for the trees a little bit of green tiny bit of green for the trees okay and uh, gotta find some actually here in the palette it's good to find some oh, I've got a bit here a bit of emerald green and I'm gonna just put in a bit of this for the these trees here in a bit of yellow to it as well it's a tiny bit too vibrant uh, sorry not vibrant but too dark so these trees here just a touch of that green in them like this carry that down like that uh, some of it's going to blend a touch into the background as well, it doesn't matter. A little bit of furriness is, there's no issue there. But uh, I think it's good to just get a bit of this wet and wet stuff, especially with the yellows here in the background, let it blend and and uh, do its thing. So you're not gonna, be get, not gonna be able to get those softer yellows, uh, softer sort of greens once everything's dried off. Okay. So we're not going to wet and wet work. I mean, even the stuff up the top here, it's kind of difficult to see exactly what's going on. Uh, yeah, they're kind of like your mid-tones, I guess. All your mid-tones. Got a bit of blue as well. Just drop in a bit of blue here for the base. There's a touch of darkness near the base, like that. Okay, there we are, a bit of touch of blue at the base. So we do have some sharper sort of shapes there at the back. Okay, now this is starting to dry off. I uh, will put in some colours for the people. And a lot of, you know, it's kind of interesting because a lot of people are wearing just white shirts today. So I'm going to leave perhaps these two with their white shirts. Uh, but I will put in some darker blue or something for the shorts of this this person here a little bit of darker blue there like that um, coming down there okay you're keeping things pretty light really light okay Maybe put in some red for this one here, just on the legs or something. Just connect the legs up to the ground a little bit like this. Okay, you can see the legs there and uh, the shadow here on the ground as well. Just a touch of that shadow moving forwards. It's really just a bit of blue and grey 
mixed together. Okay, like that. Connecting up the legs again. The legs of this one here as well. And the shadow moving towards the background. Like that, there's some more figures and people there. In the back, I'm not going to bother all too much with that. Um, those three people have disappeared now, but I do remember one of the, the girls was wearing a yellow top. And this is probably going to turn out greenish, but you know, just a little color, touch of color like that. Um, keep things interesting. Another bit of color for this one on the right. The, the one in the middle we can just leave as a bit of darkness here at the base there. Okay. I just had an idea, maybe I could put on some stripey, stripey sort of uh, colour here for this person. But um, maybe for the face, I will drop in a little bit of a pinkish colour. So I've just got some red and a bit of white mixed together. And I'll just drop in a bit of that to imply the faces of these people. Where's this filter? That. The faces. Okay, and I'm just also being careful to leave a little bit of white on the on the edges so that it helps to draw them out better. Maybe a bit of the neck like this. Um, the hands, the arms, you know, you sometimes get a bit of this flesh color there. This person here, you know. Um, this person, I mean, I didn't really detail all that much, but I remember he was wearing a purplish jacket. So I do have some, I think I do have a little bit of purple here, I can just drop into this person. Like that. Light purple. And I'll bring that down and get in the feet, the legs of this person as well. Coming down closer to the front. Bit of neutral tint, really like the darkest. If you can find some darker neutral tint here in the palette. Um, yeah, just any dark colour would do that it's fine okay that it's very difficult when you're working plain air like this when you've got very few materials on you because you are just you're just um, trying to make the, the best uh, that you can make do with what you can with the minimum amount of tools in terms of brushes and uh, bits and pieces and so you, you really are forced to simplify everything down you're not you're not looking to create any excessive detail at all so that's why I am just doing my best to keep it simple keep it simple okay Good. Let's have a look. What else can we do? Um, the shirt of this figure as well. Yeah, I, I was saying maybe I could put in some little stripes or something on the shirt. I don't know, just some little little stripes like that. Just to, I don't know, keep it more interesting. Okay. And they certainly they kind of look like people. Okay. Um, I will put in in the background while the foreground and stuff. It's still drying and doing its thing, I will put in a bit of detail for the background stuff. And we've got kind of trees and, and that kind of thing here and I hope I can just dab in a touch of colour and, and stuff here and there just with the side of my brush. Okay. Like that. Like that. Okay, just in the background and this will help to bring out these little boats and stuff as well. Okay. If it's too heavy, just soften off the edges like that. With a bit of water, a touch of water. Okay. Soften off the edges with a bit of water. This really teaches you brush control when you have little materials to to play around with all this stuff. Okay, now this now helps to separate out the the water. And it kind of got, gets me thinking again, well, how about we put in a, a few little uh, waves or something, some darker 
darker bits in there. Um, just a little indication of some smaller waves. I don't want to overdo it, but just some little little things like that um, in the water. Okay, there we are. Just a few little little waves. So we've got you know a bit of these waves and stuff going on. Play around with this figure more, just some more blue in there. Let's put in some blue on the shirt, why not? Just in here, okay. So we've got blue, we've got white. That looks, I think that looks a bit more interesting, a touch more interesting. Um, good. These people here that were sitting on the boardwalk, uh, they had, I, I think, maybe a little shadow at the base, then like this could help. To just anchor them down a little bit more, but uh, I don't want to overdo it, just something like that. Okay, another thing you can do is just again bring out the a little bit of the detail on the boardwalk in terms of these little lines. So I've just picked up a, a touch of gray, watered it down a fair bit, and I'm just going to put in these little lines running through on the ground. Okay. And I'm forced to do this quickly and in one go as well. And uh, this is going to help to create a little bit of, uh, yeah, just a little bit of perspective here in the foreground. It makes it look more interesting, more three-dimensional, like that. Okay, when it starts looking okay, I mean, I, my suggestion is just to leave it. And it's all... Slowly drying, bit by bit. All right, and just the finishing touches, I'm gonna to put in just a little bit of darker colors for the feet, the legs, okay? Darken off the legs. Like this. Just some areas that I can uh, create some extra contrast. I don't wanna overdo it though. Maybe some hair on some of these people, like that. That will help. Like that. Uh, and where you put the hair is important as well. This can make it look like that person, these two people are talking. If you've got the hair kind of on the right hand side. On the left hand side here. And this lady could have longer hair, for example, like that. Just, just. We had uh, someone here as well. Let's put in a bit of hair there for that person back in the distance yeah. a little detail a few little details maybe for the, the trees off in the background just a little bit of sharpness for uh, yeah just some of these trees and also maybe this jetty that I had indicated there a second ago a touch of detail for that jetty you're really bringing out the most darkest contrasts in this section. And really it's just, yeah, it's just blue. A bit of blue and a bit of uh, brown that I'm mixing together to do this. A little bit of blue and brown that I'm mixing in. Okay. What else do we have? Uh, this building here. Uh, we could also potentially add in a bit of darkness behind there, like that. Um, maybe some more green or something. Let me just see if I can add in a bit of extra contrast here for the, the green in the, in the background there. Another layer of detail. Detailed these figures quite a lot, that's for sure. These ones have kind of I've lost them a bit. If I can put on a bit of hair or something. 
for these people. Something quick. Um, this guy with his hat as well. Just a little indication of the bottom part of the cap and the top there. Um, shadow to the left side of the body perhaps there. Okay. Good. Bring this leg across more. Detail these legs better. Just joining them up with the shadows, you're gonna have a better, better luck with that. There's some windows maybe on this house or whatever there in the background and uh, maybe on this building perhaps. Just a touch of detail or something. Simplify it down. I don't want too much in this section at all. Uh, but you do get some of these like bits of trees you see that have some more darkness underneath them. A little bit of darkness under them. Like that. And we're finished.